Would Nike have existed today if it weren't for ASICs? What's up and welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name's Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end. And please, as always, leave comments if you have any questions today about this unboxing and don't forget to hit that notification bell as we do have some amazing and up and coming videos. All right, let's go quickly through the overview of today's video. So of course, if you haven't seen it yet or guessed, we are gonna do an overview of the Gel Light 3 collab done with, with Sean Witherspoon and ASICS as well as Atmos. So we've got that triple way collab. Then we're gonna go through the sizing on the specific silhouette. Next, we're gonna get into some history on Sean Witherspoon as well as a little bit of history on ASICS and Atmos. Then I'm going to go into the styling section and talk about how this shoe really works well with a multitude of different colors. And then we're going to conclude with resale. So let's get into the overview. All right. My goodness. Sean Witherspoon, Asics, and Atmos have truly, truly outdone themselves. Literally, people stopped me on the street, I feel like, just to view my shoe because they're so colorful. It's like there's just a multitude of colors going on with this shoe. I can't wait to get into all the different colors that I'm seeing that are really popping out. I'm sure this is extremely vibrant to you right now. Uh, obviously, for those of you who are Sean Witherspoon fans, he became pretty well known in uh, the time period where he launched with a collaboration with Nike for the Air Max 97 One hybrid shoe and that was also in a corduroy textured material different colorway but definitely has that same feel that that specific silhouette had but of course this is a different collab so he's definitely bringing us a taste of what we've known him for into the asics collaboration so i didn't even know where to start with this shoe my goodness let's start with the toe box on this one we've got this nice light lavender color here this is just beautiful and then it kind of goes through this like nice ambient darker shade of purple with a little touch of that kind of court purple colorway in here on looks like we've got it on the outsole on just on the front part here he almost has like a gradient going on with the different colors of the purple here so it's like light to dark that that medium purple in the mix there then we of course have the split tongue which is known for on the gel 8 3 version the split tongue is really interesting this is actually my first gel 8 3 shoe in the ASICs and I've never seen a shoe like this with a split tongue. It's so different and unique. And on that tongue, of course, we've got the corduroy that goes all the way through it in this kind of minty fresh green. Then we have the outline of that tongue in kind of just a darker green, forest green colorway, which is quite nice. It just really works well, the colors that he selected on the left shoe. So then, of course, we've got the lovely logo here, the Tiger logo, and that's in red. But we will also show you some more options because one of the unique features of the shoe, which is actually my favorite part, is it's Velcro. So this is actually interchangeable. And it's not just interchangeable on one side, it's actually interchangeable on both sides. And that comes on and off very well. So that is just such a unique addition to this specific shoe that I've not seen before. It makes the shoe extremely fun to play with. On the back here on the heel, it looks like we've got like kind of a dark chocolatey brown, which really does look nice with this minty kind of green corduroy that I mentioned earlier. Then of course we've got the ASICS logo and that nice yellow colorway with the gel logo on the back on top of like a lighter gray. 
And then on the bottom here of the heel, we've got just this nice kind of red tone, which I think really actually works well with the red here. So I'm assuming that maybe why they chose the red colorway, but definitely other colors would work as well. That midsole is just a nice, simple white, which I think is great because we've already got so many colors going on and the outsole is three different colors. So we've got that purple, black, and white. All right. Oh, and then we've got in three different colors here on the side, the jelly, of course, in that blue, green, and red color. And on the insole, we have Asics with Atmos on the inside there. And it's kind of like a nice shiny bluish colorway that we have going on. And it looks like we've got a satin on the inside of the shoe that goes back into the collar, which is even lighter minty green colorway. Now let's go to our second shoe. It's crazy, this is the first time I'm like having to go through the colorway on each shoe because they're both different. Instead of the red, we've got the yellow here. And of course, these colors are different as well on the Gel Light 3. It's orange, green, and like a pink. And on the back, instead of that kind of chocolatey brown, we have this kind of nice, like aquamarine kind of blue. With the Asics instead of a yellow, we have that in that green, and the gel is in that orange colorway instead of just the plain black. Instead of the red here on that heel, we've got this nice, just bright yellow that really pops. And again, it seems like they match this yellow to the color they selected for the logo here. And then we've got this kind of just nice, light, blue. It's just a beautiful blue that really makes this yellow pop. I really like this. And again, it's Velcro, so you can, of course, interchange the colors here. Then, as opposed to that minty green here, we actually have like a light gray on the tongue. And then we do have like a minty kind of greenish color here. Uh, this, this is kind of like a minty green too, but this is a bit brighter. So interesting on the the color selection there and of course the insole is actually a different color too it's uh looks like oh you know what the insole is actually really fuzzy guys i didn't even realize that it's very soft it feels like it's velvet and this color is orange on the inside and it's got the sean witherspoon witherspoon logo in there and asics as opposed to the atmos then on the toe area we have just a simple uh, orange it looks like we've got a lighter orange on the front here as opposed to that purple and then on that outsole we've got a brown a purple and a white coloring scheme and of course just that same white midsole so overall this is just this is insane this shoe this is pretty crazy so we also have two different lace options so we've got just this simple plain white lace option but we also have it in this lovely pink color so definitely we want to show you guys uh what this pink looks like it looks like it's actually like dabbled with white as well in there so it's a white and pink lace and then we've got some nice kind of just metallic uh lace tips here and it's also on the white laces as well. I think both colors would look great. But they definitely want to show you what it looks like with the pink set of laces. And then for my most favorite part of this shoe, oh my God, it's the options to interchange. Ah, oh, this is so cool. So we've got these interchangeable Velcro tiger strips, which are amazing. So we've got it in this green colorway. We have it in a blue and a black. So let me just like, actually, I'm gonna kind of like move up here and do something so you guys can kind of see 
like the different colors. You tell me what you think is your favorite color out of all of these. So those are our options. How cool is that? Definitely think I am cool with the red one, but I think as time goes on, I'm probably going to be interchanging these with a variety of different colors. We'll see. We'll see what my mood is for the day, but the same here. You can also interchange these as well. Decide which color you like the most. And then last but not least, it came with these lovely patches. So just if you guys weren't aware, this is actually the 30th anniversary for this specific silhouette. So this shoe came out just in time to celebrate that. And then we've got these cool Velcro patches. So we've got Sean Witherspoon's logo here and we have Atmos's here. And what's cool about this is you can stick them anywhere you want. So I don't know, maybe I wanna put Atmos here. And then maybe, you know, we'll, we'll stick that right there. <laughs> Probably not gonna keep those there, but really cool to have that option to add some additional something something to the to the sneaker, right? Uh, it's so much fun playing with this shoe. all shoes should have velcro on it like this <laughs> i actually remember having just the velcro sneakers back in the day those were my favorite and then my mom's like nah we gotta get rid of those velcro sneakers honey we we gotta teach you how to tie your laces and i was so upset because i didn't want to learn how to tie my laces velcro was just so much easier all right so now let's get into the sizing por portion of the video so you guys are probably wondering why I have this extra box here. This is not just for show, I promise you. I'm gonna be doing something different. I can't promise that I can do this every single video, but I do wanna show you guys in a base size option, but also larger options, because I do think it makes quite a difference when you're shopping for shoes, how it looks depending on the size. So this is actually a size 12. In men's. So I'm going to take this out of the box and show you what this size looks like in comparison to the other one. All right, actually, why don't we just do this? So we're going to put this one side by side there and this one underneath here so you guys can see the size differences. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this in my exact size. So typically I would be a man 7.5, which is equivalent to a woman's size nine US sizing. And uh, unfortunately, I got stuck with an eight, but hey, you know what? I'd rather get stuck with a little bit larger of a size because I'm just gonna wear thicker socks with these. I'm not getting rid of these. <laughs> so I just am gonna make this eight work. I really don't care, but I would recommend staying true to size. Asics are also known to be quite on the narrow side, which is why I've always liked Asics shoes because my feet are very narrow, uh, but it just is really tailored, you know, towards appealing to more narrow built feet. So if you are on the wider side, just a heads up, these shoes do run a bit more wear or narrow than they do run wide. All right, so now let's get into a little bit of history on ASICs and let's dabble in a little bit about uh, Sean Witherspoon's background. 
All right, so first up, I wanna talk about Anasuka Tiger. So that currently is a line that's in the ASICS brand, but it is also, or was known as one of the oldest Japanese shoe brands back in the day until ASICS merged a lot of their different companies within one company. So now it's just a line within the ASICS brand. So one of the biggest things I think a lot of people actually don't know is that Phil Knight, if you don't know who Phil Knight is, he started a little company called Nike. Uh, but after Phil Knight actually got his MBA, he wrote his thesis on uh, shoes. So athletic, the marketing of athletic shoes. And after he got his MBA, he decided to go to Jap Japan and approach Anatsuka Tiger to basically tell them that he felt as though their shoes would be quite marketable in the US. And so in 1963, Knight received his first pair of shoes from the company. And at this point in time, he and Bill Bowerman had developed a company that was known as Blue Ribbon. And so basically they, both invested around $500 each, which seems like nothing today, but was probably a pretty penny back then. Uh, and of course, Blue Ribbon will later become, would become known as Nike. Uh, the Tiger trainers turned out to be some of Blue Ribbon's top sellers. So Knight was completely correct in his mindset that this line of shoes would do extremely well. So Bowerman basically decided to build a prototype of a new runner from the best bits of the two existing Tiger models. And so basically the model that he built was being held between two horse pins. And basically Onitsuka loved the new model that he had created. So it went straight into production. They just needed a name to come up with. And so they thought, hmm, I wonder what a good name would be. So they started with the Aztec, but unfortunately, uh, Adidas had beat them to use that name in one of their model shoes. So they scrapped that and they correct or quickly decided to go with the Cortez. So most of us know what the Cortez is. Well, guess what? Asics definitely was part or Onitsuka tar Tiger was a big part in actually helping them create the Cortez because it was taken from two of the best Tiger shoes to make that specific Nike Cortez silhouette. And an interesting part about that is Anasuka actually didn't even know about the model really until uh, he was in LA in a storeroom and he saw some boxes in the back was like, huh, what is this? And so Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman's relationship unfortunately soured with Anasuka. And that was based upon the fact that they kind of sort of stole his two shoes and created a shoe out of it. But, uh, you know, happens, I guess, in the design world. So that's a little bit of history on how ASICS was a huge part in Nike becoming a company that is so big today. So now let's jump into some Sean Wotherspoon history. All right, so Sean Wotherspoon, he is most well known, of course, for his shoe that he launched in 2018. Again, I mentioned that before, that is the Air Max 97 slash one, which was a hybrid of the Air Max 97 as well as the Air Max one. And so a little bit of history on Sean. He is one of the founders of Round 2, which is a vintage reseller sneaker store. And he basically started this with another one of his friends and they just started taking cash for shoes and reselling them at lower pr price points than the competition. And so in 2015, Sean actually started round two, the show on YouTube to cover his life in the sneaker industry, which you can imagine probably, you know, blew up quite fast based on the fact that he was accumulating some amazing shoes on the resale end. And in 2017, he releases the Nike Air Max 97 on Have a Nice Day after winning the vote for Air Max 90 Day contest. 
And so Sean obviously has a very creative mind as we saw in that 2018 sneaker. I mean, it was something that we had never seen before. I at least have never seen a sneaker with corduroy on it. And it was just such a vibrant, different shoe that really stood out. And I think that it went in a different direction and that's why it became extremely popular. Those shoes today are currently reselling at an insane price point. Hold on one second. Let me actually, let's, let's look at the suplex app and see how that Air Max 97 slash one is currently doing right now. All right, so I have it pulled up now. So the shoes retailed at $160, those Air Max 97 ones, and they are holding strong on the resale value here. Let's look at my size, a 7.5. That's going for $1,371. Uh, it looks like the larger sizes are like 12.5 is going for two grand. Um, yeah, these shoes are not doing, those shoes are not doing so bad on the resale market, which I'm excited to get to the resale on these shoes so I can let you guys know how these shoes are currently doing on the resale end. All right, so now let's hop into some styling. All right, so let's get into the styling section of the video. So I wanna start actually with these cool rings that I got from this amazing designer. Her brand is called Knockout, and I love these shoe, the shoes with these rings, just based upon the colors that she has options for. I mean, they come in all of these like crazy neon colorways, and I think it just really works well with the Sean Witherspoon shoes. And also, if you guys can't tell, these are extremely sharp rings. And the reason that she created these is to help women basically defend themselves if need be. So these are actually a self-defense weapon. How insane is that? Pretty cool, right? All right, so now let's get into the first look that I chose. And I'm gonna start off with a shirt that I'm actually wearing, this Pharaoh Sanders shirt. For those of you who have not seen my Supreme videos, go back and watch those because this was actually one of my favorite cops from Supreme Week One. And I basically wore this t-shirt and paired it with a nice Alexander Wang asymmetrical leather skirt to kind of give it a dressier vibe so that you guys could get an option of a dressier feel in these casual shoes. <laughs> my second outfit it is one of actually my favorite t-shirts that i've gotten this year and that's that grateful dead bright tie-dye shirt i couldn't have picked a better shirt i feel like to style with these shoes because of all of the colors that it has in it i mean it's just like this nice mixed smoothie of colors that go so perfectly well with the colors that are shown in this specific colorway on this shoe and that is also a Chinatown Market t-shirt, if you guys don't know. Um, and they have that beautiful t-shirt made with those cute little bears. All right, and uh, then I paired that with just some simple sweats. And I think the gray sweats just really give you this nice, simple, neutral colorway to kind of help the shoes really be the statement piece. And those definitely pop in the sweats. So definitely a shoe that you can wear you know, in a very dressed down kind of look, but also you can dress it up like I did in that first outfit with you the
Then I finished it off in the third look with my newest t-shirt, which I love so much, Mike Tyson. How many fans out there? Life doesn't mean nothing but a bag of potato chips, uh, Coke. <laughs> uh, Chinatown Market actually did this just incredibly humorous t-shirt where Mike Tyson is actually wearing a Chinatown Market shirt and then they put the photo of him wearing it on the actual shirt. So I wear that with some dressier pants. They are just some simple Zara plaid pants. Uh, I love that they have like this kind of funky 70s vibe to them with the super wide leg. I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit more texture as well as, you know, just a different pattern because this corduroy is such a strong texture on the shoe that I think, you know, different patterns really work well with that. <laughs> Yeah, so those are the three looks for the day. Let me know what got you guys liked the most, one, two, or three. I would love to hear from you in that comment box. So now let's conclude with the resale portion of the video. All right, so for the resale on the Gelite Threes, they went for $165. Currently, they're doing very well on the resale market. So I'm gonna start with the base sizes. So on the higher end for $510, that's what the size four is currently reselling for. Uh, on the lower end, the size seven is going for around $425. And let's go into the larger sizes. So a size 11 is currently going for 470. And then the US size 13 is on the higher end going for 400 or $590, $590. My God, that's not so bad. I feel like these are just going to increase in value as time goes on because they were pretty limited. But as far as resale goes, these shoes were an amazing cop. So definitely uh, hope that all of you were able to cop this specific silhouette if you did go after it and you took a W. Uh, other than that, you guys, that was our unboxing today. Again, this was a Tokyo LA inspired shoe. If I didn't mention that already, it actually has Tokyo on one side of the tongue as well as LA on the other side. And that is through the Atmos brand, which was a collab done with ASICS and of course, Sean Witherspoon himself. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this unboxing, as well as feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have on this shoe that we did today. And also, we have so many great videos coming out, so don't forget to hit that notification bell, as we do want to alert you as soon as we have new and upcoming videos. So if you don't already know as well, I will be on the Roscoe Show this Tuesday, September 1st at 8 30 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see that shake me the shake community there. We'll definitely need your guys' support. And I can't wait to chat with you all live for the first time. Very exciting. So thanks again for joining our premiere. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next time.